Hello guys, it's Hunter Knight with another video review, this time with the Star Wars Black Series, Captain Cassian Andor from Hasbro. This video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Shop a great selection of action figures and more at BigBadToyStore.com Thanks for tuning in. Another figure from the Rogue One movie. This time is uh, Diego Luna as Captain Cassian Andor in his Eadu. I don't know how you pronounce that thing. Edu? Eadu? I, I don't know. So let's take a look at the packaging. Star Wars Black Series logo on the front. Captain Cassian Andor probably displayed on the window. A graphic of Diego Luna as Captain Cassian Andor. You can see his name on the corner. Number 23 in the collection. On the back you can see the number 23 again, Star Wars logo, and a bio in different languages as usual, which is the same can bio you're gonna see on every Captain Cassian Andor product, even on the freaking Disney Elites. So let's open this guy up and find out what the fuzz is all about. Some sort of winter type of coat, kind of like the, the one they used on, on Hoth. Yeah, it's all the fur and all that. This guy is uh, pretty ready for uh, the winter season. At first glance we can see the likeness of Diego Luna is uh, somewhere there. The paint job is funny, uh, you're trying too hard. It's like what happened with Paul Dameron, you know, the, the, the regular issue was bleh, and the Target exclusive looked much better, so yeah that's the same case with this Cassian and or Diego Luna thing. They sculpted the beard which makes it look kind of weird because it's like he's deformed on his... <laughs> yeah and I, I suppose we should have done that as paint. The hair comes in a flat color there's no highlight there's nothing they sculpted all the fur the fur is just a flat color it doesn't have any washes or any dry brushes so it's kind of flat his head is on a it rotates and it's hinged so it can move up and down uh, it has all these uh, cylinder I think those are rank cylinders or, or something it actually um, rotates pretty 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 good and as usual you know the hands are hinged they rotate this one also is hinged but it goes up and down. This is for the for, for you know to grab a rifle. On this gun, so you can see he has a communicator, and uh, tucked inside there is this gizmo here. And the gauntlets are actually textured, which is a very very nice touch. Yeah, very cool, very cool. It's attention to detail. He articulates on the waist and actually moves forwards and backwards. It's a bit constrained, but not too much. His belt buckle is in silver and has this uh, nice pattern there. These things are sculpted. They're not removable, they're very well made actually. They look like it could be removed, I don't know what they are, we shall see. There's a cut here so you can actually move the, the legs outwards. They also sculpted this gizmo here on the back, very good, they even painted the buckles. The holster here has a strap that you can actually plug in for the gun. As you can see he has thigh cuts which allow the legs to be rotated. There's a bunch of folds on the pants, wow, it's a lot but they actually managed to put a double jointed knee so he can actually yeah kneel in the cold so more stripes and stuff here they if they even go all the way down to the back that's fantastic there are some straps here yeah there are no boot cuts but the feet move forwards and backwards and there's also ankle swivel and there's even a buckle on his shoes yeah guy's stylish for accessories he also comes with his uh, it's not exactly a helmet, it just goes on top, yeah, look at that, same strap, as you can see the goals are kind of glossy, all the straps have been painted, there is this uh, gizmo here on his left ear, it's also painted in silver with a red dot, look at that, there's a chin strap that's also been painted, there's some texturing on the back, there's this scarf and a knot, he also comes with this gun and his uh, trademark rebel blaster, it comes cast in sort of a grayish plastic but it has all these nice silver details on it and he can actually store the gun on his holster and the strap keeps it in place his blaster is just cast in gray plastic it's uh, very sturdy actually it's not gummy or anything yeah he can grab it on his right hand and he actually holds it pretty well he can also hold it with two hands if you like yeah there we go Cassian Andor is a pretty decent figure, he has a lot of good things going for him. The paint job is kind of messy on his face. It's kind of, not messy, but it's kind of funny. 
uh, it's just funny looking it's just like maybe the pupils are too big I don't know yeah that that probably is one of the big cons of this figure but as for the rest he is a pretty solid entry in the Rogue One uh, gallery of action figures all right he is everywhere if you haven't found one is because you haven't been looking hard enough but in case you don't want to do the hunt I have some links in the description so you can purchase him and other Rogue One Black Series action figures and more let me know what you think in the comment section Thanks for watching my review, this is Hunter Knight signing out! Wasn't that fun? Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to visit the Toy and Pop Culture feed for the latest toy news. Thank you! Impressive. Impressive.